Okay, so let me show really quick how to work with cameras um, with Unity and Cinema Director. So the first thing I want to do is create a new cutscene. Um, I can actually just hit the Create button, Create New Cutscene. And I'll just select all the defaults for now. Um, what I want to do though is I want to have it start on start, meaning the cutscene will start playing when I play the game. So I'm going to create the cutscene. Um, it's going to create a director group and a shot track by default. So with the shot track, what it's going to do is it's going to look inside of your Unity uh, project to see uh, what cameras you have enabled ready for use. So I have a bunch of cameras here that I've created. I have an establishing camera, a bridge camera, which I'll enable. And I also have um, a camera that's actually attached to this robot so I'm going to select that as well. So to create my camera shots it's really easy. Let me just create three quick shots. So I'm just hitting the red plus sign and I can actually move the shots around. I can resize them. I can even enable snap so they snap to the grid depending on how much you're zoomed in or zoomed out of the timeline. Um, but that's all pretty rudimentary stuff. So let me just arrange a few different shots and to activate the shot you'll see the icons red so if I want to start with an establishing shot I'll right click I'll uh, pick my establishing camera from the list so what it's doing again is looking in your project and it's listing any enabled cameras that you have that you can use inside a cinema director which is pretty much any camera uh, just as long as you have it enabled so I have my establishing camera and you can see it's actually showing uh, the camera that I have attached and the icon changes color. Um, then I'll set bridge camera and then for my final shot I will set um, my director bot camera. So now when I flip through and you can see my game window here um, you can see the three cameras switch and it's as easy as that. It's pretty straightforward. Now um, because you were talking about a rocket so if we wanted to attach camera to something like a rocket and have the camera follow a rocket, what I have here is I have this camera attached uh, as a child to the director bot. And um, what I can do is I can take control of the, uh, of the director bot and make him an actor. So I'm going to create a new actor track group. And I'm going to assign my director bot as the object that's going to become an actor that I can make move and do all sorts of things. Um, and I'm going to add an actor track. Now I have an animator controller set up that has a run transition with a trigger attached so um, it, I have a transition set with a condi condition that's a trigger of run. So what I can do is under my actor track I can say okay look at the animator and we're going to set a trigger and that trigger is going to be called run oops that's fine I'm actually just uh, changing the name of the event which is fine but under the name of the trigger you look back in our animator controller and the name of that trigger is run and if I put it right about here what he's going to do now is he's going to start running actually let's just hit play here and I have some actually some camera movement attached to this camera and then he's going to start running and you see how the camera is following him as he runs because the camera is attached. We can also make cameras themselves move so for example with the establishing shot it's kind of boring it doesn't really do much of anything so I can actually make the camera itself an actor as well so let me just rename this to Director Bot running and I'll create another actor track um, and I'm going to assign my establishing camera as the actor and I want to actually create a curve track and the curve track allows us to manipulate the game object uh, by position so whether we want to track let's just add a curve whether we want to track its position, its rotation, its scale. We can control any of the inspector's properties uh, over time as well using a curve. And so depth of field, scatter, that kind of thing. But I'm going to just adjust its position, just do something really simple. I'll make my curve clip 
slightly longer than that actual shot. And uh, I'm going to place my um, my scrubber right right near the end here, and I'm going to edit this curve. And at this point in time here, I'm, I want to move that establishing camera downward. So let me pick my establishing camera. And at that point in time, I want to move it down about that much, say. And you can see the curve update automatically, and I can hit Done. So now when I look at the project now and hit Play, you can see that slow pan with that first camera shot take place, and it switches to the next shot, then switches to the third shot. So that's a pretty quick lesson in how to use curve tracks. Um, also, you can always you can always edit these, and uh, you have keyframes. So if I wanted it to move faster, I can manipulate that axis. If I wanted to to move it in multiple directions, I can. So we give you full control whether you want to um, modify the curves inside the curve editor itself, or monitor the cur create the curves automatically by manipulating the object inside the Unity environment. So now you'll see. Um, I'll have some sort of funky camera movement, obviously, because I just kind of guessed. But uh, just to give you an idea how quick it is, quick and easy it is to uh, to work with with shots in Cinema Director. Very, very quick, very straightforward. So hopefully that helps you out.